Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to chop up sustain notes in Reaper. I have a project set up here with a synth, a kick track, and a clap. And it sounds like this. So we're going to cut up the synth track to give it a more rhythmic feel or make it more staccato. Now we could do the same thing with any long sustain notes, like a piano, an electric guitar, or strings. But in this video, we're going to use a synth. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the envelopes on the synth track, right over here. And we're going to create a mute envelope for this track, which shows up right down here. So we could use the mute envelope to cut up the sustain notes on this instrument. We can close this. Then we're going to turn on our grid and snapping and make sure it's set to a whole bar. Then we'll go down over here on the PC, hold on Alt, and on the Mac, hold on Option. And just create by dragging an automation item, which is a full bar long. And then we're going to loop it by dragging it out right here. So whatever we create on this bar is going to show up on these bars as well. So if I draw in some automation, whatever we do here shows up in each measure. This way we can duplicate any rhythms we create on each chord in the part. So let's zoom in to this one bar over here. And then we're going to double click the automation item. And that opens up the automation item properties. Then we'll go to LFO shape and change it to a square wave. Because mute automation only responds to either on or off, nothing in between. So a square wave makes the most sense. And as we can see right now, it already created one cycle of a square wave, on and off. So it's going to sound like this. On and off in each measure. But now we could change the cycles right here to adjust how fast the on and off is. Let's make it two cycles. And now it's going to sound like this. We'll bring it up to four to create quarter notes. Now to make this sound more interesting, let's add a filter to the synth. We'll go to the effects right here, then go to the Reaper effects and choose Rhea EQ. Then we'll delete all the bands except for one. And we'll change this to be a low pass filter and readjust the bandwidth so it's a bit more spiky, like this. But now we should modulate this frequency. So we'll choose this as the last touched parameter, go up here to the parameter menu, and choose parameter modulation. That opens up this dialog where we can create an LFO to modulate the frequency. Let's change the direction to be centered, put the baseline around here, change the speed to be a bit slower, and the strength to be smaller, about 20%, and adjust this to taste. It just gives the synth and the rhythms a more dynamic change. Then let's add a panning effect. Let's type in the filter pan and choose ping pong pan. We'll keep the width at 
bring up the frequency or the speed to about one. Just to create more interest and also move the sound from left to right. So now we readjust the cycles again. Let's bring it up to eight, which is going to create eighth notes. What we could also do is put the cycles back to four for quarter notes, but readjust the phase. So if we move it up to 50, it moves the envelope over, which is going to create upbeats instead of downbeats, like this. Which kind of simulates that pumping side chained effect. Let's put it back to zero. Now we could also adjust the pulse width, which is going to change how long the notes are. We can make them short like this, or long like this. And we could also readjust the amplitude skew, which is going to change our envelope to be normal over here, but more restricted over here. And because the mute envelope only responds to either on or off, it's going to basically bypass the effect somewhere around over here, like this. But it basically creates a more interesting rhythm. And we could adjust it by readjusting the amp skew to change the placement of that long note. We can do the same thing in the other direction. It's going to start out off, creating a longer note in the beginning. Or we can adjust it to make that longer note even shorter. It's just a great way of trying out different rhythms for a cut up part. Now let's change this to 16th notes. And now we have 16th notes. But we could also change it to numbers in between. Like if we change this to 12, it's going to create a triplet feel. Or we could change it to six to get something similar. But we could also put it in random places to create more interesting rhythms, like 10. Sounds a bit weird at first but it kind of works. Well, let's put it back to 16th notes. Let's also check out the frequency skew. So if we drag it to this side, it starts out faster and gets slower, which you'd assume would be out of time,
But if you get it just right, it can kind of work. As it kind of gets in time by the end. And we can do the same thing on the other side. It starts out slower, but gets faster at the end. It's kind of nice to just use in certain sections. And finally, we could also customize the rhythm and readjust the envelope by hand. For example, we could just drag this to the bottom to create a different rhythm right here. And because we looped the automation item, it's going to repeat this pattern on every note. So let's randomize it like this. We can also make the notes longer and shorter like this. Drag this up and this down. So this note is longer compared to this one. Let's do it here instead. Let's make this shorter and this longer. And also, we could bypass these effects and even bypass the envelope right here. So that's pretty much it. That's chopping up sustained notes in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.